Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out the riff for La Bamba. It is an absolutely super fun riff for beginner guitar players. It's using the C major scale, which is something that we've been looking at already. But you'll notice it feels a little different because when you're practicing scales, the notes kind of go straight up and down. But when you're playing a real riff, they kind of jump around a little bit more, which will make it a tad more challenging. We want to use all down picks for this. Uh, it is possible to play it with alternate picking, but using all down picks gives it a lot more energy. And actually, I think it sounds better. If I'm playing it right-handed, I would be playing it with all down picks. It's not a simplified kind of a thing. There's going to be two approaches to playing the riff. The first one is just all single notes. It's a little bit easier. It's what I'd recommend that you start off with. And once you hip with it, we can add a harmony note to a couple of the notes as part of the riff. It just sounds a little bit more slick. Really, really good fun. I'm sure you're going to love it. That's what we're going to start off with. One time nice and slow. Okay, you can see there the riff, what's going on. It's second and third fingers all of the way. All of the notes in the second fret are going to be played with the second finger. All of the notes in the third fret will be played with the third finger. Eventually, when we have some notes in the first fret, they'll be played with the first finger. Now, the very first little bit is leading up to beat one. This one's falling on beat one. So we're starting the and after three. So the count will be one, two, three, and four, and one. Okay, this is the third finger, third fret of the thicker string. Open A string, open 5th string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret, 3rd finger, 3rd fret, this note landing on beat 1. 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 1. Then we next have 2nd finger down, 2nd fret of the 4th string. Then we play the open D. Then 3rd finger going down, 3rd fret, still on the 4th string. 2nd finger, 2nd fret of the 3rd string to the open G. So, there's the first part. 2nd finger, open, 3rd finger, 2nd finger, open. The count, 2, 3, and 4, and 1, 2, and 3, and again two three and four and one two and three four and and then we've got this little little way that we link it back into the same riff again and then this part repeats okay so this bit 3rd finger, 3rd fret of the thicker string, 2nd finger, 2nd fret of the 5th string, open D string, the 4th string, 2 picks on the 3rd fret on the D string, 3rd finger, 3rd fret, 2nd finger, 2nd fret on the 4th uh, string, and then the open D, and that leads us back to our C chord roof. This is one and two and three and four and one. And there's our one. The very first time we had that lead up. Okay, every other time it's to get to this starting point. Okay, one, two and three, four and one and two and three and four and one two and three four and one and two and three and four and one two and three four and one and two Now, I would recommend that you get all of that down first of all. And when you feel confident with doing that single note thing, 
we're going to add in a couple of extra notes which just make it sound real nice. Okay, so when we get to here, instead of just playing that one note, we play it with the second finger. Okay, so third finger, third fret, fourth string, second finger, second fret, third string. We play those together. Still just one down pick. You just go a little bit further with the down pick motion. Leave second finger there, put first finger down on the first fret of the second string. Play those two together. Lift them off and then you'll play the open G string and open B string. Open second and third strings. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, two, and Let's just have a little look at the picking there to make sure that you've got the idea correct. It's all down picks. When you graduate to doing the two note thing, the little harmonized part, Still just a down pick, but instead of just playing that one note, you push through a little bit further with the pick to get those two notes. Same with this one. You're still starting here on the third string, but pushing through to play the second string as well. And the same with the open strings. The focus of this lesson is playing the riff, trying to get it as fast as the record. I'm sure you'll find pretty challenging, but definitely something that's worth aspiring to. If you want to play the whole song, you of course you're going to need some chords as well. The chords are using the pushed strumming pattern that we talked about in this lesson as well. And it also uses the weak fingered G because you're going C, F, G. That's the chords for pretty much the whole song. In order to be able to do the push, you need to get your change from your mini F chord to the weak finger G really fast. And Nitsaj founder was just like, no, nah, I can't do those chords fast enough. It's worth practicing and practicing real slow if this is a song that you want to add to your repertoire. It's a great song. Everyone loves having a go at you know, attempting to sing in uh, pretend Spanish. Because, or, they, or you might find somebody at a party who can actually sing in Spanish, which is like super cool. And they're going to love showing off that they can do that. So it is a, a fun one to have in the bag if you're going to play at a party or something. Um, the chord progression is just C, F, and G. So we'd start off with a C chord for two down strums. Then we'd move to an F for a down up. And then we change to the G chord for up on the and after four. One, two, three, and four and one and two three and four so it's exactly the pushed strumming pattern that i talked about in this lesson already but you're going to have to just practice it nice and slow so c down down to the f down up change to the g up up down down up down one two three and four and one, and two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four. If you're finding the push really difficult and you'd like to play the song anyway and you're kind of cool with the riff, you can of course just 
cut out the push. It's any time you see a push in a song, you can usually just get away with ignoring it completely. Although it just doesn't quite sound as good. So in this case, you could have C, F, G, two, three, four. Shinabamba, do 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 ba. Having that push in there really changes the feel. Compared with... See, it's missing that energy. Even if I added more strums, but still change on the one, it's not the same So having a go at the strumming pattern is something that I'd recommend doing. You could either do it as part of your song practice, so spend the, the practice time on the riff, just on the riff itself, and then later in your practice routine you can be working on the strumming pattern. If you're learning this song independently, just have a go at whatever bits it is that you're having fun with. You know, Play the riff through, do practice it slowly and work on the time. It's better to be playing it slowly like two, three, and four and one, two and three, four and one, and two and three and four and one. That's better than going. I'm. It's really weird. When I try and deliberately make it stuttery, it's very difficult. If you want to see me like not able to play it, just go and check out the Knit Sudge stuff where I'm learning this. Uh, it's available on the site. You can just go and laugh at me not being able to play this song at all and really struggling. But it's just such a great song for a whole heap of different things. You really you have to focus on cr string crossing while you're using your pick. So it'll help your picking hand figure out where the strings are, which is going to pay all sorts of benefits later on down the way. It's good for realizing how the scale turns actually into a song. It's good for working on your timing. It's good for working on the push. There's lots of great things about this song, which is why it's included in my beginner course. I really hope that you enjoy playing it. And if you've got any questions or problems, let me know in the comments. If you happen to be over on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate the support. See you for plenty more very soon. You'll take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.